And as Brittany was just saying, it's really a great day to be out there because a little windy, but just put on a hat, <laughs> but at least it's not hot. Yes, it could very much be that, couldn't it, Robbie? It could be very uncomfortable this time in April. I, I was wanting to tell Brittany not to blow away because it felt like she was having to brace with those winds out there. They've been tough. And of course, it's all been thanks to our pressure changing pretty rapidly. A strong storm system. Uh, you can see it there back off to the northwest. This is going to continue through the plains over the next 24 hours, and it does have a cold front trailing back behind it. So, of course, we've been talking about this for days out, how finally we had some significant rain in our forecast. The good news about this rain is that it doesn't ruin your whole weekend. So for uh, uh, that crew out at the park there with Brittany, you're going to be fine. And really for any plans today, we are looking at dry weather. In fact, even tonight, this is just an isolated storm threat. I think most of us are dry, about a 20% chance of a couple storms overnight, and that would be far to the west. But I think overall we are seeing dry weather. Even as we roll on into tomorrow, yesterday our models were starting to pick up on a slowdown of this storm system. So what that means is it's not going to be raining all day long tomorrow. You notice this is 10 a.m. and the rain at that point is just scattered. But now as we get in late afternoon and into the evening, it's a different story. Here comes that cold front starting to push in from the northwest. And now we're talking about the more widespread storms, really heavy downpours. And I think this is just going to continue to expand as that front passes through. So getting you closer to midnight tomorrow night, we are really seeing widespread impact with some heavy rain. And then as that front pushes on on Monday, yes, we still have some scattered showers, some heavier downpours, especially east of I-35, but those will continue to diminish as we get to midday and into Monday afternoon. So here's kind of the way that this breaks down. 20% chance of rain for tonight, up to 60% chance tomorrow. Again, it's not raining all day Sunday. It's actually more so Sunday night and into early on Monday. Then we'll start to wrap this up. This does mean some needed rain for us. We've got a deficit for what is average for this time in April of over a half inch. So we still are trying to make up for some needed rainfall from the past, really just this spring season. Right now, as we stay dry and take a look from Arlington, that camera is certainly blowing around with those winds. They're gusting to 36 miles an hour, but a mild start with the, our temperatures in the low 70s. And as we look at some of those winds, gusting right now to 25, even 33 miles an hour from Fort Worth. Back out to the west, you see some of those higher wind speeds. I do think we'll see gusty conditions with winds gusting up to 30 miles an hour today, but not quite to wind advisory level like we saw yesterday where those winds were gusting to 40. Look at your hour by hour forecast. Sunshine back as we get into the afternoon. We'll see highs in the mid 80s, and I wanted to give you something to look forward to. We've had that high humidity. Well, when is it going to change? When is that dry air arrive? Here comes the cold front by Monday night, and certainly when you wake up on Tuesday, refreshing air will be back. So there you go. Tuesday morning, waking up to numbers near 50 degrees. It may even need that jacket, and highs by Tuesday in the mid 70s. Robbie? That sounds good. Thank you, Annalise.